everybody, it's Princess, back with another tutorial as requested by you. So today's topic is going to be about Discord Mixer bot setup. Um, so just make sure you already have your Discord set up, logged in onto the browser that you will be doing this setting switch. Um, I'm already logged in, that way you guys don't see my private information. So just like the last of tutorials, we're actually going to click onto our profile icon picture. For some of you, it may be like a blue image and that's fine. You can just click that. We're not going into manage channel this time. Um, this we're actually going into account. So from there, you're going to see three tabs that pop up. Settings, auth apps, and notifications. Um, we're going to stick pretty much up here in this link account thing. Pretty simple. Um, you could also like link your Microsoft account, which it should be linked, um, your Twitter account. But today, again, we're focusing just on Discord. So we're going to click link my Discord account. And then depending on how you want to set it up, you can just link your account and not set up the bot. Or you can add the bot, which I am here to show you today. So right now we're going to click link and add bot because we're going to show you a couple tips and tricks for that. It's going to pop up with this menu here. So connect to Mixer. So this is just giving permission to a mixer um, and to allow them to use their bot on your server because without these settings you won't be able to have those cool features so they just want to make sure you, they get your consent first before doing what they want to do um, but it's also about what you want to do so it has to work with a, a mutual agreement so here um, they're just you're going to get permission to access username and avatar email um, to know what servers you're in add a bot to what server you want. Um, so here, I'm going to put it to mine, which is PR Princess, the Royal Kingdom. And um, I have it set to allow into everything because sometimes I like to make certain adjustments. Um, so I'm gonna authorize that. And then you're gonna click that I'm not a robot, because obviously I'm not. Um, and that's just another security purpose so that they can actually get access. So from here, we're not done yet. You only linked the Discord you haven't like properly set up certain things to run the way you want. So you're going to scroll to the right, click this gear symbol, which is just the settings basically. So you have settings and you have sync. So now there's a couple things here that you can change. Um, you can invite permission. Um, you can set it as no one, set it as followers, subscribers, or everyone. Um, I have it as no one for the time being. Um, here, this is a, a new channel, new user will join. You could have them, when they come into your uh, server, you can have them say, oh, this person has now joined the server. And like, it does like cool little like um, changes every once in a while to how they word it. Um, my Discord already does it automatically, so I don't really particularly care to have that setting. So it's completely up to you on how you want to have yours. Um, then here on this next one, because this channel will announce, um, will go. So like your channel announcements basically, so when you go live, you can have that set up. I have mine in a separate tab, so mine is actually the announcements tab. So I want to have every time I go live or every time I go offline, I want that to go right there in my announcements tab. So that's what that's for. And then you can also have this other cool feature to mirror your mixer chat onto your discord so you can select a certain channel to go there um, I haven't set that up because I particularly don't like that feature I it's, it's completely up to you I don't like it as much it kind of adds a lot of clutter um, but like I said it's completely up to you you can have it set up where it's on your discord or you can just leave it off um, it's completely up to you alright so then you also want to hit save so now all those settings that I just made are there. Um, I'm actually gonna change this to followers. Um, so now, so that way people could come through as if they're following on my channel. Um, sync here. Now this is where you can add an extra step on what Mixer can do. So if, for example, you're a Mixer partner, you can have roles synced um, so that their role as a sub will show um, on your discord so here I'm just gonna click that ticker because I want all my subs to be accurate so you can have 
your subscription role depending on how you have it. I have mine called Epic Knights because my whole thing is about a royal kingdom. Um, you just have to make those roles in Discord and that would be have to be a separate tutorial if you guys need help on that. I can also teach you guys that but that'll be a, a different tutorial. Um, grace period, um, if their subscription has expired, how long do you want to have it before it gets changed? Um, I want to do one day because I want to keep it fair to all the current subscribers. Um, and then if they resubscribe, then it'll just automatically pop in back with the, the roll for the sub. And then here you can sync your followers. Um, and then you could give them a, a name. So my follower name would be Knights. But I don't want to sync that. I just want to leave it be. Um, and let me minimize this because I, I was hiding some stuff. And um, then you could change like your emojis on who could have access to that. So we're just going to save that. Um, and then we're just gonna close so then we're pretty much done all the settings are there if you want to tweak it However, you want to tweak it. You don't have to do it the same way I do. It's completely up to you So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you found it helpful Please let me know in the comment section or if you still need help on a certain thing Let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on a certain topic also let me know I want to help you guys as much as I can and I feel like these tutorials are a great way to do that because there's not too many out there. So I will see you guys during the next tutorial or the next live stream. See ya.